Hi, this is Resilient Kent Lau. Power BI is the clear leader in business intelligence in the cloud. Now, this is this is shared by Satya Nadella, the chief executive officer of Microsoft, in his annual report 2020. You need to learn something that is pioneer, that is the leader, and Power BI is the clear leader, not just a leader, the clear leader. So that's why investing your time and resources in learning Power BI is of great value to you. And to your organization. Now, today's video, I talk about the date at. Now, what is date at? So, yesterday I talk about the calendar. Today I talk about day eight. The day eight. So the date at. DAX function receive three inputs. One is a date, it's a column that contains the date, a number of intervals, it's an intent integer that specifies the number of intervals to add or subtract from the date. For example, uh, a previous year, a PY's previous year from the date is negative one. That means it's negative one previous so it's shifted backwards in times now interval can be year quarter months or day so so these are the values they can be and this is a example so now let's head over here now we can create a p uh, a date at Dax function just by going to uh, click on the new measure and then key in this and the new measure will have a name for it and there you are now how do you use that date here is that you first year is that you need to have a calendar table it's by itself so uh, in my the other video I talk about how to create a date dates table and uh, it's reading your orders table and from there until today's date so it's very powerful this this will create a dynamic calendar table uh, dates table now the next thing is that we'll create this where we compare that this year compared to last year previous years Uniso was this you see that's 45 for 450 uh, 45 million and this is also 45 million and this is 45 million in 2020 now watch this why is it that this is different from this it's supposed to be there right ah and then 2021 we have this as over here this this column should be the same as here but why is that different you need to know why so the idea is that if we uh, do a pure table with the source data you will see here now 2021 until here is 51 million Okay, and uh, we come back here, uh, was it 51 million? Yes, it's until October. Because the, um, and then as for previous year, because we are comparing with previous year and until only October. So therefore, we look at 2020. 2020. So when you highlight this and come over here, it's 37 million. 
and that is why it shows as 37 million and this one is 55, 60, 51 million so as you compare last year's same period that is what it means so how do you create this previous years so you first uh, you have this okay you have this so basically you call the uh, you have you use the calculate dex function a very powerful dex function then you enter the sum of the unit so and over here you do a filter that you only sum that all that all the uh, all the units so in previous year previous one year and that is all that you only sum all those state that is in previous one year so okay so I'm just curious that if I put two what will happen let's see <clears throat> so we have this information right which is like previous two years 38 uh okay it's not good it's analyzing this thing okay let's put here so over here and uh, we're gonna add the, that label so it's 38 million so two years ago I guess it should be two years ago one two so which is this that would be 38 million up to the same period so let's cover here that was 2019 yeah 2019 uh, let's roll here let's see is it 38 million yes 38 million that is what it means 38 million okay uh, if it's one year it would be this 30 million two years ago that is the data set that you have here okay so that is how you use the date add function for based on the current date two years or one year up to you and you can also change the year to something like last quarter last month yesterday pretty powerful huh and thanks for watching god bless you